G'day guys, Tom Walton here, and we're at home making my Big Greek Iceberg Salad. It's good vibes with Oz Harvest. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little herb yogurt sauce. And why I love this herb yogurt sauce is because it's a great way to use up some old herbs that are sitting at the bottom of the fridge. And I'm just using a natural Greek yogurt. I've got a clove of garlic, and I've got some dill. I mean, this is an example. Looking a little bit tired, but that's gonna be a beautiful flavor in there. I've got some basil. A bit of parsley here. If you had coriander, you could use coriander. A bit of lemon, squeeze that in. Oh, juicy. Some salt. And I've got a little bit of water. Lid on. Start on a low speed just to break everything up and then we can increase it. And we'll increase the speed. All right, that's looking fantastic. So the main star of the salad is the iceberg and that forms the base. And by using whole vegetables, this, this salad relies on the whole iceberg. Um, you're not just chopping a little bit off and putting some in the fridge, which can lead to more food wastage when you forget about it. So really using that whole vegetable is a really great way. I do a little bit of the base in the top. I cut it in half again. And we've got two beautiful pieces. And this is a good sharing salad, okay? Now I'm gonna put little cuts in there and all that's gonna do is help the dressing go in there. All right, so the next part is just to dress this iceberg to form the base. So a good olive oil, quite generous, really, so it's gonna soak into those leaves. Red wine vinegar, and you could use lemon, uh, more of that lemon juice, some salt, and some pepper. So now our icebergs are tasting awesome. We're gonna build it up with all the different layers of all these amazing ingredients. So we've got mini caps, it's a combination of both the colors. I slice, you can dice, however you wanna cut it, it doesn't matter. Next we've got these beautiful little cukes and these are like snacks, perfect. Really sweet, really crisp. Next we've got these baby little Roma, the Roma Therapy tomato. And these two are my favorite for the kids' lunch boxes. So, herb sauce, generous. Be generous with this sauce. Now we start to layer up. I like to just mix them up on the board. Got some 3-3 stuffed olives. Those are Danish feta. Um, any type of feta, you've got a nice marinade one. So delicious. My favorite ingredient in the kitchen, pomegranate molasses. This is just gonna add a really nice sweet and sour, another dimension to the salad's flavors. Not traditionally Greek, but just as delicious, za'atar. This is a kind of salad for spring, you know, barbecues. I'll be serving, you know, if you, I mean, this is perfect on its own, but if you're gonna serve something, I'll be serving some grilled lamb or chicken, you know, nice piece of fish. And then just some more herbs to finish. So, got some shallots, freshly sliced, some mint, this is so fragrant. And then just some dill. It'd be a Greek salad with more, out more good olive oil. So that's it guys, my big iceberg Greek salad. We're using up leftover herbs, so we're reducing food waste. So many Australians are doing it tough right now. So if you can, give to ozharvest.org. One dollar can create two meals for those in need.